Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Steam Series. Gutters play an important role in protecting your home from water damage. They help stop flooding at your foundation and prevent exterior walls from staining by rain runoff. In this video, we'll show you how to install a pre-hung box gutter system on a metal roof. We'll walk you through box gutter end cap, splicing gutters, gutter fastening, installing an optional eave trim, and gutter straps. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Yeah! Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. For this installation, these are the parts that are required. Box gutter end cap installation. Place silicone sealant along the inside edge of your gutter. Secure your gutter end cap in its position. Next, pre-drill holes for your rivets on the top and bottom of each side. Make sure holes penetrate box gutter end cap flaps. Wipe off any excessive silicone sealant on exterior of gutter. Additional silicone sealant should be placed along the inside seams of the cap. Installation of gutter splice for pre-hung box gutter. If you're installing a gutter on a long stretch of roof, you'll most likely need to join two gutter sections together. This is done using a 12 inch gutter splice. The gutter splice is installed on the outside of where the two gutter sections meet. It should be placed in the middle, six inches from each section. Using your splice, make an outline six inches from the end of your gutter. Make an additional outline three inches from the end. This is where you will apply silicone sealant and rivets. Apply silicone sealant along the three inch outline. Carefully position your splice in its position by aligning it with the six inch outline. Rivets will be used to secure the splice. Three rivets should be placed on each side of the splice. Gutters should be fastened using pancake screws. The most common distance is 12 inches on center. Consult an engineer prior to fastening as local codes vary. Prepare the adjacent piece by applying two beads of silicone sealant three inches from the edge. Carefully drop the gutter into the splice. Fasten the second section of gutter using pancake screws 12 inches on center. You want to leave 1 8 of an inch gap between the two gutter sections. Apply silicone sealant along the interior seam of the gutter splice and all interior rivets. Three rivets should be placed on each side of the adjacent gutter. Eave trim is used to cover the inside color of the gutter. It's a great aesthetic choice that hides any white sections of your gutter trim. Place a strip of double-sided beetle tape along the top of the hem. The eave trim is placed on the back section of your gutter trim. Fasten your eave trim using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Overlaps of eave trim should be a minimum of three inches. 
Start by notching out the lower section of trim at the hem up to 3 inches. A strip of silicone sealant should be placed on the top section of trim. Gutter straps. A common distance is placing straps every three feet. However, you should consult an engineer to determine proper spacings as it varies depending on location and rain load. Start by clamping your gutter strap in its position. The strap should be placed as shown here. Drill a hole through your gutter and your gutter strap. Secure the strap with a pop rivet. Then, secure the gutter to the backside using pancake screws. Want to learn how to install a downspout dropout? Check out this video. Want more installation videos? Check out our standing seam playlist.